everyone, it is Jimmy Bones back again with another video for you guys today. I this is a special treat. I think that you know, you know, Halloween's almost over, and I've seen a, I've seen a few videos of him already, um, and there hasn't been that many. So I was hoping maybe I could be one to also shed some light in my opinion on this life-size Santa Claus made by Pan Asian Creations this year for 2020. Guys, 2020 has sucked, we all know this. <laughs> but, the best thing about 2020 has been the fact that it has, that, that this year, every company has made some fantastic life sizes. Freaking Jimmy this year surprised us all with Christmas. Halloween, kind of, their tabletops for Halloween were actually pretty good, but not life sizes. Now here's the thing. Guys, I was impressed with Pan Asian Creations this year. They went all out. And when Christmas rolled around, I wasn't expecting much from them. But, and I hated their life-size Santa for the past few years that they have made. But out of every year this year, I was not expecting to buy this guy. I really wasn't. But when I found out that they completely redid him, gave him a whole new fresh look, and gave him a whole new you know, list of uh, two new songs to play that don't sound stupid or retarded. This was it. Guys, I I don't know what it was about this Santa Claus, but I fell in love with him. This guy is so well made, and considering the fact that it's from a Pan-Asian creation studio, they did a phenomenal job. The detail on this guy is incredible. The suit is, is gr good quality. The, the My only complaint about this Santa Claus is the cheap plastic they used to make the hands and the board. But other and, and the other and the only other complaint I have about this guy would be the fact that he doesn't have a volume button because this guy is extremely loud. Now I hear a lot of people saying they have last year's model, guys. I hate to break it to you, I hated that model. That model sucked. It was he looked like a crack look like a crackhead Santa. This one is where it is, and I never thought I'd see myself buying one from Pan Asian Creations. Um, but I ended up getting one, and this is actually my second one, believe it or not. Um, long story short, I bought one, and when I bought one, the one I got, the first thing I noticed when I turned him on was he was making this extremely loud screeching noise every time he would turn to the, well, if you're looking at the camera, to the left, every time his body would move to the left. And it was loud, and I wasn't sure how long he would last, so I went ahead and got rid of him. Um, returned him, got a refund, and bought another. This one, and, and the one prior to that was a little more perfect looking. This one is just as amazing, and he's beautiful. Um, the only thing I don't, the, the only problem I have with this one is he does make a noise, but it's not near as loud, thank God. Um, and his beard is not as rounded and perfect, I guess you could say, as, um, as the one I had prior. If you go follow me on Instagram, you'll see the one I had prior. But sadly, I had to return him, and I got this new, new one, and he works pretty well. His dancing is a little weird, but I think I'm, I'm okay with that because he dances, he sounds great, he works great, and I just wanted this Santa. This this one follows the original Jimmy um, line of old animatronics. He's a collapsible. You can take his head off. He dances perfectly. There's nothing wrong with this Santa. I only had two complaints about him, and I absolutely love the songs that he sang. He sang the, the original Drifters uh, White Christmas song, and he also played. He also sang Santa Claus is Coming to Town. They completely redid the voice of him. They gave his beard a whole new look. They gave him a new belt buckle, and th this one just hits the head on where it needs to be for Santa. Um, but I fell in love with this guy. I don't think everyone really liked him for some reason. I know a lot of people did, but a lot of people have been spending their money on the Grinch and the Scooby-Doo this year. I don't know if I'm going to get the Scooby-Doo. I've been debating. I don't. I know I'm not going to get the Grinch. I hate to say it to you guys because I ended up wanting this guy, believe it or not, a little more than the Grinch. Um, and the reason for that is because I don't have Grinch collections. I have Santa collections. And I absolutely just love Santa Clauses. And this Santa was absolutely so beautiful. And he is ginormous, guys. This guy is tall. He is huge. And he's I think he's actually taller than the one I have from Jimmy. 
I would have to get them out and look, but this is definitely one of my all-time favorite life sizes this year, besides the Alien from Panasian. But Panasian has done a phenomenal job on their products this year, and Jimmy has two for Christmas at least, and you know, I, I can't, I'm just so blown away by by the line of you know life sizes that have come out this year and it's been phenomenal it, it kind of it kind of reminds me of the old days um but i'll go ahead and play them for you guys he plays two songs it's probably gonna take a little more than a minute to get through them because he does go for a while but let's go ahead and play him so we're gonna play the first song which is santa claus is coming to town and since he doesn't have a sensor i'm gonna have to press the button <laughs> You know, this, I don't know what it was about the Santa, you all, but this one just makes me so happy. I don't know why, but I, I, this is like one of my favorite life-size Santa Clauses now. And I freaking love them. So we'll go on for the next song, and then I'll give you guys a close-up. So yeah, guys, this Santa, I, I was blown away. Um, I never thought I would see, again, I never thought I would see myself get the Pan Asian Creation Life Size Santa because the past models absolutely sucked in my opinion. I hate to break it to you. I just didn't like them. Um, I didn't even really like the Jimmy ones, but the only reason why I got the original, the, the, the newer model of the Jimmy, the cartoonish looking, not the one with the more realistic face, is because I wanted a Life Size Santa and I hadn't gotten the original 2004 Jimmy one yet, so I ended up getting him because I just wanted one. Um, so I have three of them now, and this one, wow, I think this is one of my favorites. I, I hate, I, I just, I, I don't wanna say I hate to say it because this was a very good piece of work from Panasian, and I wanted to thank Panasian for doing such a good job on the Santa. Sadly, some of them I feel like have defects because Panasian, while they are good at design in my opinion on a lot of things, they don't, so a lot of their things can malfunction and that's my only fear with this one. But I'll give you guys a close up and I think I'll even do one more playthrough of the songs for you. But this guy, if you look at him, is ginormous and this is a good close up of his face. It's very jolly looking and also if you're wondering, I never go without a piece of holly in my life-size Santa's heads, or, or, or at least on their hats. It adds a little bit to the red, and I think it looks very Christmassy. 
So, yes, this is him. As you guys can see from the original model, a real nice belt buckle, very well designed. It's plastic, but it looks good. His hands are a little pla- is very cheap, but the Santa suit is what, you know, really sells it. The Santa suit's a really nice fabric. So is the fur and the beard. The eyes, I think, are actually glass, and they're actually, like, really pretty. And then you also have these glasses. They're cheap, they're plastic as well, but they still look good, and like me just standing up to this guy, I'm not even eye level with this guy. He's ginormous, he's huge, he's a monster of a Santa. And then you go down here, you have his button and his shoes, they're plastic, but it's still a really good product of a Santa Claus. <laughs> So yes guys, I, this is just the coolest life size this year besides the Grinch. I absolutely love the Grinch this year, but with my budget, I just couldn't do it. But um, this guy is definitely a good life size for anyone who wants to get a good life size this year for Christmas. Um, this, one might, this might be one of my only few life sizes I get for Christmas. But I think he was definitely worth the money. Even though I had a little bit of a rocky road trying to get a good one. I think this one will last me. I'm not going to um, say it will. But I'm not going to try to overplay him. Because I feel like that hurts the animatronic. Probably more so than, I don't know, not playing him at all. But I hope you guys did really enjoy this video. This guy was definitely a treat for me. I absolutely love this life size. Good job, Pan Asian Creations, for making such a beautiful life size this year. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later on the next video. I apologize for, you know, weekly uploads because I'm just trying to fit everything into my schedule. I'm still going to be doing Halloween reviews as well, even probably after Halloween, because I have a few more things I want to review. But I really wanted to get a video out on this guy. So anyways, guys, I'll talk to you all later.